ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗುರುರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಲಿವ್ by default setting what is the default setting our habits habits are formed when we do certain things repeatedly thereafter that becomes our second nature the second nature or the acquired nature is called as swabhav and our essential nature is called as swarup so we are carrying two things with us one is our essential nature swarup and acquired nature swabhav we are all the victims of our swabhav so what is living in meditation or undoing meditation unmeditating we have to go beyond this swabhava and let our swarup our divine nature manifest how simple it is so what is our swabhava swabhava is two extremes either somebody keeps on talking 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 the other extreme is somebody keep the mouth swollen every time <coughs> so what will be living in meditation see when required we must talk when not required we must keep quiet See? like nobody is born with a cigarette in the mouth and a lighter in the hand then how do we develop that faculty we go to the college among the other students and they make fun of us you can't smoke then we take that as a challenge and then we start first cigarette with zero experience therefore the smoke starts coming from all the holes and when that happens everybody laughs at us then it becomes a prestige issue what do you think then second cigarette has a back cup of one cigarette smoking experience the third cigarette has the backup of two cigarettes smoking experience the nth cigarette has a backup of n minus 1 cigarette smoking experience when n approaches to infinity n minus 1 is equal to n thereafter the smoking is our second nature without that we cannot go see now if we have acquired that nature it is our responsibility to get rid of it now this is out of the external things now what is happening inside meditation is remaining aware what is happening to our mind see so world the world enters our mind through the gateways of sense organs and after it gets um, reflected on the mind then no logic no reason or personal likes and dislikes raga dvesha thereafter we start functioning under the influence of raga dvesha 
Now this Raga Dvesha has no logic, no reason. Then we have to grow and go beyond mind. What is beyond mind? Beyond mind is the faculty of reason, intellect. And when we come to the intellect, we are living our life under the umbrella of discrimination or wisdom. See? And therefore, what will be the meditation? Meditation is, we must remain aware, are we leading a mechanical life or we are leading a life of wisdom and understanding. See, you know what happens? One of the biggest problems for all of us is talking. See? We are told, control your faculties, sense organs. Now there are ten, five of them and again five of them, Karvendriya. How to control so many of them? Okay, control only one? Yes, that we can do. Which one? Tongue. Tongue has two faculties. For testing, the tongue is called as Rasana. And for talking, the tongue is called as Jiva. Two things. First, Controlling the rasana aspect. See? All the time, only one theme, food, food, food. It is necessary, we must enjoy, but that not, must not become the only theme of our life. See? So controlling over our taste buds. And this can be done by wisdom, more than by compulsion. See, it is something like this. One person has given up sugar. Why? The doctors told, you take one teaspoonful of sugar and book your cremation queue. It's so bad? Yes, it is worse than that. Okay, I will not take sugar. So he is avoiding and suffering. Suffering is not our essential nature. Our essential nature is joy, happiness. Not the second person. Of his own choice, he gives up. No more sugar for one month. Don't take. He will not suffer. See? Now what we have to learn from this, only one thing. When something is given up by our own choice, it is not a burden and frustration in our life. When something is given up under compulsion, it becomes a problem. Therefore, what should be our practice of meditation if we are doing? This is what I have been doing and I do, you try. What? Give up something for a few months. See, for two years or so, or maybe one year, I have given up rice and wheat. Then only boiled potatoes. Everything is okay. The first few days, it was a big problem. I said, no means no. And when it became normal, I was, what? I was confident. I can't do it. See? Here only in Durban, Banuba's place, when I went, so the moment I went, I went straight away to the kitchen and made my tea. And she was so shocked for the first time. And then she said, Swamiji, we were told this, that about you and we are so frightened, we are so afraid, as if some tiger is coming in our house <laughs> and all that. But you are so relaxed and you don't ask anything, straight away go do your things. Then, she is my guru. This is what I told you, all of you are my guru. 
He said, Swamiji, I'll tell you one thing. Yes. You don't take sweets. I said, no. How many times you take uh, tea, black tea? I said, maybe about five, six times. Each time you add three teaspoonful of sugar. Yes. So how much sugar? And he said, I don't take sweets. Then he said, stop taking sugar in the tea and eat sweets once in a while. I said, yes, you make a sense. And then I said, okay, no more sugar, stop. No, no, not like that. Slowly, one by one. I said, no, truth is or is not. There are no fractions in the truth. Either you know or you don't know. See, these are basic things. There was a boy who came for a job somewhere and uh, he was interviewed by the person and he asked, where did you work earlier in that place? Okay. You come tomorrow, I'll talk to them and then tell you. So this person called him, the earlier owner of that boy. Hey, how is he? Is he trustworthy? Yes, he is trustworthy, maybe 70%. Can the trust be in percentage? <laughs> See, my friends, either the truth is or is not. But when we don't understand these basics of life, then we start struggling. So I sit quiet for meditation. For half an hour, I am absolutely quiet. Rest of the day, horrible. See, friends, why this happens? Because we are forcing something. When you force something, it doesn't last long. See, my friends, therefore, we have to recognize this. Are we under the influence of Swabhava, our acquired nature, or we are living as our essential nature? Our essential nature is bliss. Acquired nature creates blisters. <laughs> Why it is bliss? Because there is nobody other than I. See, how the blisters come? When I becomes two. How simple it is. When you are uh, your feet. You are, we are not born with the blisters on the feet. But then we put on shoes. So something else has come. And then dviti yatvai bhayam bhavati the moment other has come rubbing starts. That is why the rubbish happens. And the blisters come. See friends. The more we become aware of this, we will learn meditation is not done for half an hour of the day, but it is a 24-7 living in awareness. How this can be done? First, it is not done. It is our natural state. Our natural state is covered by some unnatural things. See? In Ramcharit Manas, when Bhagwan Rama was born, Tushidaji writes, his birth, Bhaye Pragata Krupala Dina Dayala. Bhagwan Ram manifested. He doesn't come from anywhere. See, where he is not. See, and once you are convinced of this, that where the truth is not, we are included in the truth, whatever we are. Then, we will not struggle to have 
different type of abnormal experiences through the mind. Friends, our, when our mind can create such wonderful dreams, we can't create even an ordinary picture on the wall. But the mind can create such wonderful dreams. So it can create anything. You sit down and in my last life, go on regression. And in my last life, I was a king. Then, in before that, um, before that, I was a warrior. Who can challenge it? And we get carried away by that. See, friends, therefore meditation is what? One thumb rule. Anything which comes and goes is a flicker of mind. That which has never come and never gone is the truth. See? We can ask a question. Where is earth? Where is water? Where is fire? Where is air? Can we ask a question? Where is space? What will be the answer? Where the space is not? Exactly. We have to give up that wrong notion that we will have divine experiences. See, friends, when you play with the Prakriti, something will happen because it is being modified. And therefore, we get lost in, because I want some divine powers. Why? I am other than you. I want to prove something. And then there are so many techniques they tell. Meditation, then Kundalini awakening, and divine nature, invocation of many powers. Why this happens? Because of the basic error. In Yoga Shastra, in um, what you call Sankhya, Sankhya is the philosophy on which Yoga Shastra is dependent. So in the Sankhya and Yoga, the basic error is there is one soul per body. Therefore, they want liberation for the soul. So, I want liberation. I want God-realization. I want self-realization. And what is that? I have divine powers. See? And these seven chakras. And then we keep on struggling throughout life. And ultimately what happens? When you play with your prakriti, you become extraordinary than others. Like the weightlifting fellows. They keep on lifting the weight to put it down. Lift it, put it down. Lift it, put it down. And by that practice, the biceps become like the thigh muscles. <laughs> then what you want to prove? I am more powerful than you. And how long will you continue? Maximum up to the age of 25, 26. By then, another person comes. He becomes stronger than you. And then you stop your this weightlifting business. Then all the muscles which have gathered here, they start descending. And then the table mountain comes. Okay. Is this spiritual life? Remember, 
prakriti is that where vikruti is natural you cannot stop it there are two principles we all have to learn one is principle of change and second is principle of no change now with whom you are if you are with your uh, wealth property achievement whole life will be only in that if you are with your um studies education i have seen number of places those who are extremely intelligent and study and always gold medalist first position they can never practice whatever they have studied you will see most of the medical college professors they are all gold medalist but if they have to practice medicine in public they can't they are only theoretical and then i am phd what will you do with that see then the third one are they are thinking themselves to be the body the so whole life goes only in body building body i can sit like this i can see friends i was in china uh, in china and um, one of my friend he said swamini there is a function there one yogi has come from india he is 103 years of age so will you like to come i said i can see anything i have no problem when i can see the animals in the zoo oh, why not somebody on the stage i have no problem so we went there and 103 years one leg he has taken put it on his neck on one leg he was standing and hands were above his head he was standing there now what do you do then he took the leg down then he took the other leg up again hands up again is spiritual life a performance see friends mira bai was also singing she was a great singer she was singing for bhagwan sri krishna not for the audience yani the audience do not clap do not appreciate they get frustrated see watch next time if you happen to the um, hasya kavi sammelan where there are jokes and uh, the poetry in the form of satire so they will be again and again telling clap clap but there is nothing to clap there is no joke but he start thinking friends spiritual life or meditation is not a performance on the stage of the world it is a direct experience so what is our present experience i am inside the body and i have to invoke divine powers see and then all our efforts are invocation of divine powers like a worldly person all his efforts are invocation of the wealth because money is a power or getting a position in the ministry is a power whole life goes in that there is no difference between these and the so called i want to have different siddhis in my life see friends these are small little things we remain aware of that then we are practicing meditation yesterday i told you meditation is not for half an hour a day we have to live in meditation 
Now, what is our half an hour meditation? Our meditation is a five star meditation. See? AC, IC, UC, DC. Put a board there. No entry after 6.05. Don't knock, go away. Why? Meditation in progress. Don't disturb. Why don't disturb? We are self sufficient. Meditation are cartoons of meditation. See, friends, we have to again and again recognize this. What is meditation? May anything happen around us. We must not react in life. Like yesterday when we were coming, our Deepak was little late for whatever reason. So I was walking at peace with myself. No agitation, no disturbance. How it can happen? Only through wisdom. Now what right I have got on him that he should come on time? No right. On the contrary, I am obliged. In spite of all his personal problems, he finds time to come and take me here. Living in that wisdom is living in meditation. Otherwise, small little things happen here and there and you become angry. No. Where is our attention? Attention is on our mind. We remain undisturbed by anything. Undisturbed mind is consciousness. Disturbances come when I want something. When we go to sleep, what is that because of which we don't get the sleep? Because of two factors. One is I, second is want. Now with these two factors we come to the bed. We discard everything. Now we are in the bed. But these two factors are still there. Why? I want to sleep. I want to sleep. Till such time I and want is there. Sleep doesn't begin. Therefore, what is meditation? Meditation is freedom from I. If I is not there, there is no you. If you is not there, there is no he, she, it. Three persons. First person, I. Second person's you. Third person, he, she, it. I, first person, talk to you, second person, about him, third person. Samsara begins. If I don't talk, there is no second person, there is no third person. Ekameva dvitiya neha nanasti kinchana. It is for this purpose we suggest spend some time on you wherein you do not talk to yourself. Whether we are moving, eyes are open, we are seeing the things, but not a single thought 
is erupting in the mind and for suspension of thought eruption the only technique is not chitta vritti nirodaha not pranayam the only technique is do not talk to yourself because speech is nothing but expression of mind see like the shirt is nothing but expression of the cloth now what is the difference between the shirt and the cloth cloth has no specific shape and size the shirt has a specific shape and size mind has no specific shape and size words have specific shape and size words are many mind is one this i who is struggling to do meditation and therefore he is employed at body level or he is employed at the prana level do pranayam or he is employed at the mind level do japa unusha 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 but we don't want to get rid of this i this is the basic difference in meditation and unmeditation see and this we don't have to do only learn from our day to day experiences see friends i was also doing the same thing earlier doing the puja not for 5 minutes time is hours with all the mantras sahasra shirsha purusha sahasra aksha sahasra pa sa bhumim vishvato rutva atyatishta dashangulam purusha e vedakam sarvam yat kinjit everything when day it click come on what i am doing see similarly jap Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. See, then I came across a great master, and I learned from him. What is that? He said, uh, "Are you doing japa?" I said, "Yes." Um, for 3 days don't do japa so i kept quiet i said okay i did not do japa for 3 days that particular time when it comes like in you know, a kujli starts no no japa then during that time do anything but no japa so then i'll play music go for a walk or do something no job and then after 3 days he asked me what is the result i said the result is i was feeling whether i am doing right or wrong whether i should do it or not so many years i have been doing japa and not doing now will it be a sin he told me that's what i'm telling you if an element of guilt happens to your mind you are not practicing knowledge because after some time it becomes mechanical spiritual life is not mechanical this is what happens among the people 
mechanically. I love you, I love you. There is no love in that. It's only mechanical. The same thing happens whenever we lead our life mechanically, we have lost control from our divine being. Therefore, try this. Let our life be not mechanical. And for that, do some experiment and find out. One thing you will discover that till such time, these two factors, I and want are there, we are far away from the spiritual life. Now this, if we have to really understand and experience, what should be our approach? Approach is only one. Learn from every experience of your life. Don't go ask others. Do we go, a mother, does she go and ask others? Hey, uh, I am blessed with a child. Can you teach me how to love? See? Anirvachaniya prema swarupam. Love cannot be defined. Love defined is defiled. See? How simple it is. And then that love can be of any kind. One example I'll tell you. What love means. You cannot tie it down in a definition. There used to be one girl and she was blessed with a child. The child was very chubby chubby, very sweet. So that mother used to call that child, could you believe? Mera bengan ka bharta. <laughs> no, you can imagine a Punjabi mother cannot think more delicacy than Bengan ka bharta. So she said, Bengan ka bharta, like that. Now slowly the child was growing and when she was getting married, I happened to go there and she was sitting around and our mother, she saw me, she got up from there, came running and put her hand on my mouth. Swamiji, don't call by that name. Nobody knows that. <laughs> you can imagine in the wedding hall, if I call her, hey, Bengal ka bharta, what will happen? <laughs> but was it a condemnation to that girl? It was love. <laughs> See, friends, therefore I told you, when love is an action, we fall in love. When love is an experience, we grow in love. All those who fall in love because they have not understood what love is. They have only expectation. I want this, I want that. If I don't get, I want that. Therefore, learn from your experiences. Every learning is a, a, a session of meditation. Every learning. For example, we go to sleep. Now what we have to learn? What is the last thing in the process of sleep? We discard everything. Thereafter, the one who discarded everything, then I also has to be discarded. Earlier how we started? I want to sleep, I want to sleep, I want to sleep. So in that I wanting to sleep, we discard everything. We come back home, discard the home, and now we are below the quilt and nothing else, struggling. And even then they don't, sleep doesn't come. So we say, I want to sleep, why I am not able to sleep? Let me get up, get a glass of milk. Take a glass, there I come. I don't know why I am not getting sleep today. 
I want to sleep. And finally, when that I who wanted to sleep, when that I is also dropped, be attentive. What is the um, dress of the I? The dress of the I is want. Either drop the want, I will disappear. Or drop the I, wants will disappear. And therefore, meditation is an experience where there is nobody. Have we done anything? No. Therefore, undoing, not doing anything. And then we come to a point which cannot be dropped. That eternal presence is our essential nature. Life becomes relaxed, undisturbed. Then you will come to understand this principle which I am telling you. Whatever we do in life, nobody needs it. Many times the parents have this stupid understanding. I have done so much for my child. First of all, find out who needs whom. Children do not need parents. It is the parents who need the children. When they get married, if there is no child, the unborn child is not miserable. The parents, see, uh, three years, four years, no child, then you go to the doctor and then IVF and these things. That you know. Finally, I got a child. So if it is your need, don't blame them. I have done so much for them. Who asked you? This is how this I, the ego, becomes terrible. So what we have to practice, whatever we do in our life, nobody needs us. We are the most unwanted furniture in this world. Like there are so many chairs, empty, unwanted. But ahankara vimudhatma karta hamiti manyate. But we have that notion. Our Nisargadatta Maharaj used to say, all those who have come to save this world, they were shaved off. This world has always been like this. There is nothing new ever happened in this world. But what an arrogance. I have to suffer then. And the best part, the one who is suffering, where does he go? In deep sleep. Upanishad says, in deep sleep, the father is not the father, mother is not the mother. Where they have gone? See, my friends, living in this understanding and awareness will lead to this principle. We have no right on anybody in this world. Write off your rights right away before they perform your rights right now. <laughs> You are living in meditation. See, this is the principle with which I move. When, uh, when that corona was going on, one lady wrote me, uh, somebody, I want to talk to you for two minutes. I know you don't like, but I want, I said, okay, call. He called. Somebody, you are talking in front of the camera. Yes. There is nobody in front of you. I said, yes. 
you were giving earlier lectures before the audience yes but your lectures and talks are the same it doesn't make any difference whether there is audience in front of you or no that was her question i said look here i am very clear when the actual audience is there it is listening i don't have that wrong notion and when the virtual audience is there it is not listening that wrong notion also i don't have then why are you talking i am talking to myself if my talk doesn't change me will it change others and for this purpose meditation is living in utter awareness and slowly and steadily learning from every small little thing so when that amma told me don't take uh, sugar in the tea and then eat so i tried that for three four days the tongue was rejecting no no it is too bitter i can take little bit no means no now it has become the other way around i can take sugar in coffee but not in black tea this is how we have to practice and do experiments on ourselves and one day you discover that prakriti will enslave us if we give too much importance to it then next principle you will discover what is the principle whatever we have given importance to in our life that becomes the source of disturbance in our life anything including god see so what we are what is meditation then therefore let us not be obsessed with anything in life the world is beautiful as it is but on small little issues i don't like this you know we should not stay in this small village you know we should go to mumbai and we stay there and all that then you go to mumbai and stay there in a small dirty below a um, bridge in the village you are living in a nice palatial house no 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 i want to who is making a mess of our life ourselves try to be happy wherever you are i am not telling become happy be happy and that happiness starts expressing to the extent this i factor is reduced this undoing meditation is explained by bhagwan sri krishna in bhagavad gita second chapter he says dukkheshu anudvigna manaha sukheshu vigata spruhaha vitaraga bhaya krodaha chitadihi muni uchchate when the misery is come we do not become misery when the comforts come we do not become enslaved by the comforts in both the conditions we are at peace with ourselves then what is the meditation bhagwan krishna's language prajahati yada kaman sarvan parthamano gatan atmanne vatmana tushtaha sita pradnyasta dochate arjuna's first question was that <clears throat> stita pradnyasya ka bhasha samadhistasya keshava samadhistasya stita pradnyasya ka bhasha how do you 
tell or talk about a man of steady wisdom and meditation bhagwan krishna says yada sarvan manogatan kaman prajahati when one entertains zero desires living at zero desire level is living in meditation this he explains see in the same chapter we don't have to go here and there so simple it is यानिशा सर्वभूता तस्या जागृति संयमी संयमी इज ए टेक्निकल वर्ड नॉट कंट्रोलिंग कंट्रोलिंग द माइंड नो दैट इज नॉट अ संयम इफ यू स्टडी पतंजलि योग दर्शन सी हैंड्स एंड लिम्स आर माय लिम्स आई एम नॉट हैंड्स एंड लिम्स हैंड्स एंड लिम्स आर मेड फॉर मी द बॉडी द मेन ट्रंक द आय Exactly, Ashtanga Yoga, Anga is limbs. There are eight limbs of what of yoga. Then what is yoga? See, so Patanjali says that after you have completed the eight Anga, Yama Niyama Asan Pranayam Pratyar Dharana Dhyan Samadhi. After this eight steps, you have gone. then the ninth step is trayam ekatra sayyamaha when your mind is undisturbed because of the time space and object our mind runs in places times and objects when the mind does not run in time space and object that mind is called as sayyama see the after this is achieved the i is still there then when you have got some great things will you not like to show it to the people in usa this i have seen number of times when you go to somebody's house so i am my interest is eating food so i go and sit directly on the dining table or the kitchen how many we like to, to take a tour of our house i said is it a taj mahal or what taking a tour now we want to show our house now what is there to show See, but we get lost in that. See, friends, because I have, you don't have. If such a simple thing, we want to have exhibition. If I have got siddhis, that if you have got a back pain, come, come, come here. Give one on his back and go. Everything is okay. Mahatma, siddha purush, siddha purush. Then. get lost in that see my friends therefore it is distinctly said in our scriptures <coughs> all the siddhis are obstacles on the path of self realization see that is the reason why in sanyasa upanishad a mantra comes see na prushtaha kasyachit bruyat na cha anyayena cha prachchatah janan apihi medavi jadaval lokam achare meditation is not becoming extraordinary remain ordinary Who is the ordinary? 
He who doesn't have to prove anything to anybody. Now just an example, incomplete example. Now we have got Mama here, her maid servant is there. Both of them are ladies. Now what is the difference between the two? She is ordinary. We don't even ask her, what is your name, whether you are married or not, how many children, where do you, we don't even ask ordinary. But if you have to talk to Amma, they will ask her, Amma, where are your children? They are not seen, you know. And how is this? Thing? Because extraordinary. Meditation is not becoming extraordinary. It is for this purpose, you must have seen, I do not allow anybody to hang around me. There is no inner circle, second circle. See, space does not have boundaries. House will have boundary. Paramatma doesn't have boundary. Mahatmas also do not have boundaries. Because ordinary. See? Once I was in Nagpur and you might have heard the name Haldi Ram Ki Bhujiya. That's my favorite. <laughs> so, the owner of that uh, factory or the company, he invited me to his house. So I went. I had hardly half an hour, one hour in between the two flights. I went there. Namaskar, Chamatkar, everything. Then he gave me a big size, nice picture framed, Bhagavan Sri Krishna and with gold plated, uh, you know, ornaments and everything. Oh, it's beautiful, so nice. Thereafter, he introduced me, Swamiji, she is a new entrant in our house. My youngest son got married and she is his wife. So, I said, hey, I'm so happy to see you. I'm seeing you for the first time. Now, you are a bahu in this house. I must give you something. So that big picture was, I said, my dear, keep it in your room, this is for you. That man said, Swamiji, I gave it to you. I said, is it mine? Of course. Then what do I do with my things? Who are you to decide? <laughs> no, but I wanted you to have it. I said, if you want to give me something to hang, give me walls also. I don't have walls. Where will I hang it? The moment walls are created, temple is holy, toilet is unholy. Are Ram, 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 Ram. <laughs> Real meditation is not becoming extraordinary. Remain simple. And to remain simple, this principle. We don't have to prove anything to anybody. Our whole life is that struggle. That dumb husband and wife, they try to prove each other that we love you. Both of them are cheating and bluffing each other. And they know it. Atmanastu kamaya sarvam priyam bhavati. We all love ourselves the most, not anybody else. See? And this is how our life is self-cheating. Because we want to prove something to somebody. Don't do that. Just be yourself. In being, there are no efforts. In becoming, there are efforts. See? When this principle is understood, then we start living in meditation 24-7. Now in last one hour, have we done anything? Asan, 
प्राणायाम जपा नथिंग एज मच इंटेन्सली अवेयर यू आर नाउ यू विल नेवर बी एबल टू अचीव दिस बाय डूइंग प्राणायाम बाय डूइंग योगा नो नथिंग बिकॉज वी आर डायरेक्टली वर्किंग ऑन द माइंड बट दिस इज इक्वली ट्रू दिस इज नॉट फॉर एवरी टॉम डिक एंड हैरी इज ओनली फॉर दोज हु आर हेल्दी इन लाइफ to them only this is addressed if i had to talk to the children do you think i'll talk this so depending upon the audience the thoughts sprout give it a try and be happy om purnamadaha purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ Mm-hmm.